Well, this weekend on Highland TV, we are, of course, looking forward to the dual Donegal International Rally, which takes place next weekend in uh, the county. As always, it's uh, one of the most popular events here in uh, the Northwest, and it really would be the standout event on the uh, Irish Tarmac Championship calendar and on the motorsport calendar through the year. I'm joined uh, uh, in studio by two of the members of Colin for uh, Donegal, Stephen Sheridan, who's, uh, we think we can call him team manager, and and the man who's going to be driving the car, uh, James Cullen. James and uh, Stephen, you're welcome to the studios of Highland. Thank you, Yoshin. Thanks, Yoshin. We're, what, about a week or so out from the from the international rally. You're going to compete in a Mark II. Preparations, fair to say, James, haven't been ideal over the last, what, five to seven days, have they? I think they were going great there until I come in here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve was off to tell me, uh, as uh, the car we're having is Mark II. Escort has been hired from um, Noel Lochran. And... There's a, a guy had it in Munster last weekend and he was going great and doing brilliant until the second last day. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, did a little bit of damage, so apparently now that's um, the knock on effect of that. It means that we're not getting a run in the car. The first time we'll see it yeah. now or drive it will be at least at the weekend. So just have to apologise to the guys behind me now in advance. Yeah. Well, it's the rally and lease that you're going to this, this weekend. The rally and uh, lease now this Sunday. So you're, you're yeah. not going to get as much prep time as, as you hoped in the car. No, but I'd hope to get. Yeah. You know, a little run out on it and see where the gears are and get mm. the seat done and j just to get a, 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 an acclimatisation with it and, f and feel what, you know, these cars are. Now, I've been lucky enough, I've sat on with Martin Doherty and his car and it's a real eye-opener. These cars are not slow. Yeah. Like, they're seriously quick cars and uh, maybe they, they shouldn't be given to old boys like me to start with, but that's the way it is, so... Uh, it's not the ideal thing, but sure, listen, this is all about what, it's a nostalgia trip for all of us, so as long as uh, we don't hold anybody up at the weekend, then we learn a little bit and have it ready for Donegal, and just, we're, we're, <laughs> we're not putting wings or quarter panels on her before yeah. Donegal, we'll be happy. Okay, well sure, we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit more depth in, uh, in a few moments' time, but uh, Stephen, we'll talk about the idea of calling for Donegal, it is of course 25 years since the, the Pink Panther took victory. When did the idea of, of marking the occasion come about and, and who was the men involved in it? The idea is on the go now for over a year and a half and it started um, one night in Remelton and the infamous Murrayview Steakhouse. Um, Aidan Caddy was there and Aidan came up with this brilliant idea and Dennis Orr and myself were in his company. And um, we all thought it was a great idea, we just had to figure out who was going to take it and run with it. and. Um, it ended up that the three of us brought on board another few guys, uh, Brian McDade, Joe Hunter, Martin Doherty, and that's the team that has got it to here. Yeah. The escort is the car. Did you, did you have a good look at trying to find uh, a pink car, a pink Sierra? We did. Uh, we investigated and talked to um, people that have Sierras, but the escort has evolved over the years to be a pretty good car to drive, a really reliable car. The Sierras are running in the historic, they haven't evolved the same way and reliability was going to be an issue. And the effort that we were putting into this, we felt that t we owed to James, we owed to the people who's putting their name in the car and to everybody else, we need a car that has a good chance of going the distance and we felt that the Sierra just wasn't the option, so we ended up with the Escort. Yeah. You've been involved in, in rallying and in, in different teams and you've been highly involved in the, in the organisational side of yeah. it uh, as well, Stephen, but I'm sure this is probably one of the most exciting projects you've been involved in, is it? Well, I've been away from rallying for 10 or 12 years and I never thought that I would be involved at any level again like this, apart from going to watch the rally, but this has, this has a brilliant buzz about it and it has captured the imagination of a lot of people People, um, people are happy to become on board and are happy to be involved and the times it's in it it's not easy for people to write the checks to do something like this here but fair play to everybody they've caught the spirit they've captured the idea of it it's a nostalgic thing it's honouring uh, a great man in a great rally in county and uh, we're just delighted to bring it this far yeah and uh, there's a lot of people in, involved in it trying to bring this thing together but as the days now get get closer to it Stephen how's, how's the feeling within the committee good Good. Well, we don't actually have a committee. We decided from the start there would be no committee. But the the group of people that is looking after the project, the, this getting the car hit at the weekend has been a bit of a setback. It's a bit unsettling. But you know these things do happen. As James said, hopefully it'll not be us doing repairs next weekend to it after leash. And uh, we're nearly there. Uh, we have a few more bob to gather. We have a bit of space left in the car, but. 
the press conference last Friday night where the car turned up later and all that there it was nearly emotional you know we've got this far we have done it after all the chat and all the predictions and suggestions to actually see her sitting there with a letter and honour was uh, it was something special it really yeah. was. and the car was getting a lot of attention as well from those yeah. those yeah. that was there yeah Fair play to Bernard and CBM, he uh, promised us a car that would be noticeable and he has incorporated all the wee things that we wanted. They put a pink on her, the pink panthers on her if you look in the right places and um, our sponsors have all got the prominence that they deserve. Yeah, James, back to you, what did you think of all this when they first approached you? Well, to be quite honest with you, I thought this is great. It'll never happen. Like, it's a great idea. Let's We'll go with it for the crack and we'll enjoy talking about the old days. And uh, and then as the thing went on, like, it become, you know, it's, it's reality now. And it's uh, uh, it's a wee bit, un- not unsettling, but, you know, you're a bit apprehensive because yeah. uh, never been, it's been a long time out of the car. Uh, these cars are what they are. They're like. Uh, Irish rallying is nearly about Mark II escorts. Mm-hmm. And you can understand when you go to watch them you can understand why mm. and the guys that drive them are fantastic they know them inside out uh their commitment is awesome you know the uh, you, uh, you know I've, I've watched them this last few rallies there now because you've got an extra interest and um, they're fantastic to watch like it really is uh common good again and, and i suppose i'm very fortunate that at my age i'm getting a chance to go back down memory lane mm. and since this started and even i was down in munster last weekend uh, with martin doherty and there are people coming out of the woodwork everywhere and saying hello to you and it's great to see this and brilliant and i tell you i remember this and i remember mm. you that car and i remember you in the circuit of ireland and uh, and this has been going on for me now for three weeks like it's mm. like it's like having your wake before you die <laughs> 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 and I'm sure it's emotional too with well, the connection of Donegal and uh, Ellen of course who's, who's no longer with us and she was she was a, a crucial part of, of the James Cullen team and, and taking victories in Donegal Absolutely like we, we've uh, we done 16 years rallying together mm. so you know and, we've, <laughs> and those years are lots of ups and downs mm. and um, we try and hold on to the good days like and sadly that's one of the things that's missing it'd be nice to you could, you know, like last year with Vincent Bonner and Seamus back out <coughs> two years ago. Like it, but sadly, Ellen's not with it, so that that can't be done. Like, but um, uh, that's been part of it. Like, and, and when I start to think uh, from my point of view personally, the amount of people that uh, the guys that I would have rallied against, uh, the guys you respected, your peers, and how many of them are not here. Mm. And what we started to through a list the last day, like, and it's it really is scary. Yeah. So it's brilliant for all the people who are here. Who can talk about the people who, yeah. you know, we're still here, and, and it's a truck down memory lane for all the people of my generation, like who rallied at that time, who yeah. could, who watched rallies, who competed in rallies, and uh, it's like a wee refresher for that. Mm. There, and it's actually it's, it's brilliant. Yeah. You'll be giving a few of the older boys about a hope they'll be saying if James Collin can do it, I can do it. Uh, well, there's a few <laughs> old boys about there yeah. now that would, would hit you up rightly. Like, uh, you know, but I know uh, we'll we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We're we'll not making any predictions now. This is. Hopefully, what we want to do is get to the finish. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at look, look at the car. Uh, we've talked about it a bit, but how does it compare to the car that you won in 1991? <coughs> uh, they're completely different. Like mm. they really are. I can't even remember what the car felt like back then. You know, because yeah. everything evolves, and we've gone through the four wheel drive era since that, and that would be my last memories of rallying would be that in the Group N car. Um, they really are now. You can understand why the buzz is in them, why guys want to drive them. Uh, I was in Martin's car, and it it just feels like a world rally car. It's a pretty serious car now. Mm. And you're sure you're looking forward to going around some of the big the big classics of it. I'm looking forward. Yeah. You know, it, it, once you get the silver and Friday over and settled in, mm. like, and you you go back into the the old classic parts of the rally and. Uh, the best ones are Sunday, unfortunately. So we just we hope we're there for Sunday and it'll be like to head to Glen and Atlantic Drive and fan at some of the best stages in the world mm. again. When you thought like I, you know, you'd never do this again, like yeah. completely and totally. And my own mind, like mm. you know, my rallying th- times were funny. Like it, I, I'd not be doing it as quick as you'd like to do it, but you still will get the sensation and the enjoyment. And like it's. Uh, you know, you know, maybe you're going out to do your last event, and mm-hmm. and it's Donegal, and Donegal is so special. Uh, I've loved it for 30 years, and you know, to get the opportunity to to do this again, and I think it's as you get older and you are retired and you come back, you you actually appreciate a lot more of your own sport and your own county. Mm-hmm. 
uh, when you get the chance to to go down that road again. Mm-hmm. I know there'll be a lot of memories over the weekend, but you have to <coughs> stay focused as well and get get the car to the end, don't you? Uh, well, that's yeah, that's that's yeah. the plan, like, and hopefully we, we can behave ourselves yeah. and, and do that, like, and uh, you know. But uh, <laughs> as I keep repeating, the car is they're they're a seriously quick machine, like, and yeah. you simply hope that you're reacting. You no, know, if we can fi- be comfortable with the car, get a pace that we're comfortable mm. with, and enjoy it. And usually, when you enjoy it, then things kind of fall into place. Yeah. And, like as I keep saying, uh, the support we're getting and the people who are coming to the rally, like. Uh, brother George is coming back from Thailand for this mm. rally. There's people coming out that rallied with us years ago who serviced, who supported, and, yeah. and they're all coming back again. Like, and so yeah. th- th- it's great for everybody. And that's as proof, Stephen, that how important James is to to, to Donegal. For sure, um, we have got great support, and people are very enthusiastic <coughs> um, in different ways. But have got mighty support. We wouldn't have got the support. I wouldn't have got the support if it was me who was going rallying or anybody else. People are delighted to get the opportunity to support them again. And you know, sometimes I think that we're not great in this country at honouring our heroes. We do talk occasionally about them, and then you meet up, and unfortunately, maybe it's at somebody's funeral or something like that. And I, I think it's a privilege to be able to honour them in this way, to be able to do this. And the proof of that is in the way that people rode on behind us to do it, because no matter what sport you're involved in. Everybody has heroes, and it's nice to be able to recognise them and give them the recognition they deserve. And, and I'm sure the, the motorsport fraternity and supporters in Donegal and elsewhere would like to honour James when he's when he's coming over the finish ramp on, sure. on, on the um, Sunday. He has promised us he's going to get her to the finish ramp, and uh, he's not even going to mark her. Uh. And uh, we're really looking forward to that, and there'll be some party on Sunday night. It'll not be the party of 91, but we'll give uh, it a good run. Yeah. And just finally, James, um, if you're going to get this car to the finish, will the racing bug be back at any stage sh- over the weekend? Because I'm sure once you sit in the car and once you get comfortable, it's going to appear at some stage. Uh, the problem is, like, uh, your mind tells you one thing and your body tells you another, so hopefully, like, uh, you know, it, um, this is rallying mm-hmm. at the end of the day, and, and uh, <laughs> once you put the numbers in the side, you don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully you can control yourself. Mm. You know, the idea is to finish, like, but you know there's there's no there's no guarantees on on, on anything like you yeah. know and we have to mention the man as well that's sitting alongside you he's going to be calling the notes because he's <coughs> going to have an important role of, of I will, keeping you calm is it I will have two guys now actually Joe Freed's going with me and Joe's been about for as long as me <laughs> and he's been retired for 10 years so we've got him convinced to go yeah. to the lease so and uh, Damien Connolly the dent man uh, like Damien's very very experienced one of the best co-drivers in the country so, Damien, so hopefully Damien's influence will will help us get it, like our, our jobs to get it to the finish really and yeah. hopefully we can do that like but th- that's the goal yeah. but that's everybody's goal <laughs> nobody goes out on Friday like not to finish on Sunday so yeah. fingers crossed we'll make it yeah. Yeah. well listen get through leash first of all <coughs> this, this, this coming weekend and we'll all look forward to the build up with Colin for Donegal next week and uh, we'll be seeing you at the finish ramp on the Sunday won't we lovely cheers okay. best of luck with it thank you Arjun